And he thought, all right, I'm, I'm done, you know. And then the next moment, she's like, okay, I need the wedding date. When are we going to register? When? And he just realized that he just gave his whole freedom away in one question. Oh, my God. I, I, I mean, like I, like I said, I know my wife isn't listening to this. Yeah, this right. is what I've perfected with marriage uh, because guys are, um, in my opinion, most guys are not a one-woman type of guy. Yeah, most women aren't a one-man type of guy either, though, let's be honest. What? We don't... We don't get to play the field, you know, because there's two women that hang out in the underpass that we can all kind of use as a revolving door. Well, it, it, For every guy that's cheating, there's probably a woman cheating. Well, Mathematically, unless we're all doing it with the same yeah, but wait, wait, so the, you're saying most women are not one man Let's say, women? yes. I would, it's just mathematical fact. I want to hear from the ghetto Dr. Phil about this. Is this true? Well, <laughs> women don't cheat as much as men, but the problem is when they cheat, they normally cheat with someone they really like. <laughs> you know, I explain to my wife all the time, I would never do you like that. You know? yeah. <laughs> so you can only cheat with somebody you don't like. That's I mean, right. That's how, you, that's how you appreciate your, you know, your spouse more. You know, Ghetto Dr. Phil is starting to make a whole lot of sense to oh, me yeah. over here. Corey Holcomb with us on Sports Radio 6. Do you do this kind of thing on stage at the improv? Some, sometimes, but I, I mean, like this is real talk here. You know, <laughs> after you have that little affair or booty call on the side, that drive home, you don't want to think about somebody you like. You just want to think about somebody you're done with. That's why you, you cheat with people who are below your standards. I've got this thing down to the science, really, man. You, you do, it sounds like you put a lot of thought into this sort of oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Well, what, what are we going to get if we go to the show tonight? When you go to the show tonight, uh, if you show up with your girl, you're going to have quite a conversation on the way home. <laughs> because we're going to talk about up. this type of stuff. You might break up, but sometimes that's good. Sometimes you're with people just because there's nothing else to do. You're only out to make people happy, aren't you? I mean, really. Well, I'm just Make their lives better. I prepare couples for failure. <laughs> it's inevitable. Help me help you. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my exactly. Gosh. I'd rather oh see couples. God. I've had couples argue um, while I'm on stage. Because really? I see it in the, in the crowds. I've <laughs> seen them start uh, to argue. Have you had a woman, like, you know, basically call you to the court, so to speak, while you're on stage? That's oh, wrong. Oh, yeah, especially if you get the girl who's inebriated or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can they, see that. They don't this care. Man's full of it. Oh, right. You know? Hey, you shut up up there. I, 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 did, I, I was on stage. I said, if you're here with your side girl, clap your hands. <laughs> and this guy claps his hands, and the couple really got into arguments. Because it was his side girl. Oh. <laughs> the truth always destroys the night. Oh, okay. It's like Ray Liotta and Goodfellas. <laughs> Friday night is for the girlfriends, and Saturday was for the wives, right, in that film? It's and, couple, and, what's, yeah. and what's wrong with that? Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> What about hecklers in general? You got a lot of, I mean, not a lot, but how do you deal with them? What's the worst one you've had? I mean, you must have a good heckler story or two. Or How do you shut them up? Well, it's hard for me when I get hecklers because it's women, and it's very hard oh. to shut them up. <laughs> um, these um, new domestic abuse laws have made it very difficult to discipline your woman. I never thought of it that <laughs> way. Or... <laughs> I mean, couples, <laughs> couples get into it, but that they, they just don't uh, listen. Right. Couples get into it, and there's not much you can do as a guy but talk. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, well, that's, you know, some people would consider that a good thing, but I'll uh, I'll take your word for it there. Yeah, well, back How long the, have you been married? Um, Let me see, about 10 years. It's oh, something okay. I did. Um, I needed some health insurance, so. Uh-huh. I'm, bet, I'm guessing, I'm guessing you're. I didn't think I was your making. routine, your your uh, philosophical uh, <laughs> mindset was was different <laughs> nine years ago. Uh, well, yeah, nine years. Or maybe ago, eleven. If comedy you were wasn't 10, paying, Eleven years ago. Comedy wasn't paying that much nine years ago, so I got married. <laughs> if I would have believed in myself, I'd be a free man right now. <laughs> what's your next stop? What, what's your next city after this? Um, going? I, I'm going to North Carolina. I'm doing one of those little slow. Wow. Comedy clubs oh, off boy. to the side. Oh, boy. People wear um, tuxedos with sandals on. I'm saying this so people can kind of follow you, you know, get in vans and follow the Corey Holcomb tour. Hey, um, that's so just like, well, why not? <laughs> Where, you know, I, 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 forgot, I forgot the little town. Asheville. Yeah, yeah let's go like with that. that. That's yeah, right. Asheville. Yeah, Asheville. Yeah, Asheville, I'm on my way. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Cor do you have a website or something where people can follow your stuff? Please follow me on 
um, the Corey Holcomb on, on Twitter. Twitter. That's right. That's yeah, right. I said crazy 52, stuff. 52,000 followers, Corey. That's huge. And I couldn't even get a freaking retweet from you. Where's my retweet? You, you must have tweeted me this morning. How do you guys get up so early? I'm I don't so know. amazed. Coffee, drugs, drinking right. talent. You guys don't even look tired. <laughs> oh, just wait till like 10:30. It's like it's pass out city around here. Uh, you How know do what? You I'm, I'm going to tweet the podcast of this interview, and then you can retweet it. All right. Okay. Because I want some of those followers. I want to poach some followers from you, if that's okay. That sounds good. I'm going right. to retweet you. Retweet you as soon as I leave up out of here. Awesome. Well, it's going to take me a while to like Jones the podcast and our producer, and I'll. I'll but it, it, we'll do that. All right. Thanks so much for being with us today. All right. Corey Hulk about the improv, improvhouston.com. What tonight, tomorrow, Sunday too? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing Sunday. Me also, and I, I want to say to everyone out there, whenever you put effort into something, you open the door for failure. Okay. Demotivation. Very, very, very positive. Very positive. <laughs> <laughs>